have a little confession. I did Google a little bit during um, the Rihanna Super Bowl halftime show last night. Um, my opinion on her being pregnant uh, nine months after she gave birth in May 2022. I have no opinion. Good on her. <laughs> I personally could not do that. I remember being nine months after each of my kids and that would not have been in the cards. But um, no, I, it, it was very strange kind of the feeling because I, I remember watching it and I see people all the time that I'm pretty sure they're pregnant. I mean, like it's literally my day job to be around pregnant people. And I was like, mm, she's is a really rocking the postpartum look. Hella, yeah, good for her. Or dang, if that girl isn't pregnant. <laughs> And I felt kind of bad because I was like, really, there's no need to Google it because it doesn't matter. It's what, you know, and, and good on her for getting up there and, um, you know, doing her thing. And I, I love her. her music is some of my favorite songs to run to because the, the beat's great. Um, and we feel like we're back in the club in the, you know, in our 20s. Um, any, anyway, I felt kind of bad. <laughs> I was like, I know better. But I'm really curious and and I'm curious as to what you thought too, because I, I the, the media has been really interesting because I think there's those people that just sort of waited and we're like, all right, let's see what they have to say. But, you know, had she not come out and said, oh, I'm pregnant, I think she would have gotten a lot of hell about, oh, you don't look, you know, the way you're supposed to and you're not dancing the way you're supposed to and all that kind of crap. And it just sucks. Like whether she was postpartum or pregnant or that sort of thing, who the hell cares? It's Rihanna, like honestly. But I, I, I think it just still comes back to it. Like I, I'm, I'm in this period with social media right now where I, I really am not enjoying it because of course you, you Google one thing and the algorithm picks it up. And so now I'm getting all these recommendations to read these stories about, um, you know, and the headlines are lovely. Oh, you know, this person, they've accepted their postpartum body, making it sound like a defeat. And like, why are we still freaking having this conversation? Um, and there's so much still pointing to aesthetics, like even um, PT programs that I see out there, you know, they're doing PT or coaching or things like that. Like the hook to hit your pain point is that you don't like the look of your postpartum body. Um, and it's so interesting that despite everything that we all know, despite everything, it still comes back to that kind of primal thought about, you know, what you look like, or do you look like you're pregnant, or do you not look like you're pregnant? Um, and there's some really valid things that you can do to impact aesthetics. And I talked about it a little bit last week. Um, that afternoon bloat, I've got a post coming up about that. You know, there's a lot of moms that will come to me and be like, hey, what's this bloating thing? And so we have a conversation about overactive pelvic floor. And we have a conversation about um, muscle tone. And if they're not actually doing workouts, how important it is to actually start to build strength and tissue integrity and that sort of thing. And then also the role of genetics and, and whatnot. Um, but also when you have pregnancies that are really close together, there's not a lot of time to recover. And so that's a conversation that I have with moms too, is if, they're just coming to therapy after a couple of pregnancies. We've got a little bit more work to do because there really was kind of that dip in the middle that they didn't, you know, get a chance to kind of get caught back up from a strength and aesthetics perspective. Um, and then through a miscarriages too. I mean, we, we had one between our kids and um, we, we caught it, I guess it was like around 13 or 14 weeks. So it was pretty far along. And so, you know, I never lost the weight from that. And then a couple months later, we got pregnant again. And so it was my body looked like it had gone through three pregnancies. Um, but, you know, I didn't have anything to show for it. So, uh, well, I had one. <laughs> we, we, we won't discount him. Um, but no, it was just it, it was just a lot of kind of thoughts and emotions as I was watching this last night and kind of feeling guilty as I was, you know, Googling like I didn't think she was pregnant, but hey, you know, go for it. Um, so I'm really curious um, for those moms that are out there, like, what were you thinking when you were watching it? Were you like, nope, I got you. Yep, go for it. And, I, and she's been very open about, you know, she wants to have a good number of kids. And, you know, she, I think she's closer to the advanced 
maternal age and that kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm really curious as to what you were thinking watching it. If you were like, hmm, if you're like, go Rihanna, I don't freaking care. Like, um, I'm just really curious because again, like it's still, I think it's something it was just so many of us that we, we were just taught about aesthetics or we were directed in a cer certain direction um, when we were so young. It's kind of, it's, it's nice to recognize that you're having those thoughts and be able to walk away from them. But I, I still think, gosh, you know, it's, it's, it's way too heavy of a emphasis that we have in pregnancy and postpartum, but let me know what you think.